Okay, I'm gonna connect with Archangel Michael right now. So please make sure you don't call upon him, okay? Let me finish what I need to do with him first and then you can have him, okay? So wait, I will do my work and then you can call upon him. Hello, beautiful soul. Namaste. Welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel if you're watching me or welcome to my podcast, The Coffee with the Angels, if you're listening to me now. Thank you for joining me today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria and I am here to connect with the angels, to connect you with the angels and help you get away from that mindset where we feel confused, where we feel sad or angry and to help you with the angels to find your inner peace and transform yourself, transform your life. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, make sure you subscribe if it's your first time here or make sure you follow this podcast if you're listening to me. And today we're going to talk about how is it possible for the angels to be everywhere? You know, do they split? Do they turn into different pieces so they can be with everyone, so they can actually help everyone? Or do they have some kind of limitations when it comes to this? I've received this question the other day on my Instagram and I found it so wonderful that I thought I should come here and actually talk to you guys about this. So first of all, before we even begin, this is something you need to understand. When we are talking about um, Christianity, when we are talking about religion in a religious point of view, especially Christian point of view, and geology, we are talking about in geology here. When we're talking from this Christian point of view, uh, God is, yes, God is omnipresent. But the angels aren't. The angels do have their limitations. So only God is capable of being everywhere. No one else, nothing else. This is the Christian point of view about the angels. But this is a channel about spirituality and not religion. There's nothing Christian here. So please, you know, if you are very religious, you know, just ignore this. Go to somewhere else. You know, go to another video, um, you know, because it is what it is. Uh, from my experience with the angels, from my connection with them, from everything I've studied about them, um, actually the answer is yes, they are omnipresent. They actually, sorry, they actually are uh, capable of being everywhere. Um, so, I mean, what I have to say first is that, of course, there is no absolute truth. You need to understand this as well. I to totally respect people who don't think they are um it is what it is the truth is you know like i said there is no not one truth um the truth is the one that we believe is the one that makes sense to us so you need to also understand that um but from a spiritual point of view yes the angels they are capable of simply being everywhere helping everyone at the same time so one thing you need to understand here is that um in, in the frequency, in the vibration that the angels exist, which is something completely different, sorry for the noise, something completely different from where we live, from, from the 3D Earth experience, okay? The angels, they live in a dimension that is completely different from a physical experience. They are very high vibrational beings in a very high frequency. And in this frequency that they exist, there is no such thing as time and space. It doesn't exist. Time, time, and ex, time and space is something that is only available here in our physical form, in the ego mindset. So that's why it's so hard for us to actually understand how is it possible for the angels to be everywhere. But you need to understand that they are not us. They are not the same frequency, frequency as we are. They are in a completely different dimension. Multi multidimensional beings. They, they just live everywhere. They simply exist. So there's no such thing as past, present, future. No such thing as, you know, territories or space limitations. You need to understand this. So this is something very important that you need to really uh, to really, um, you know, just 
get rid of this kind of mindset that because this very often happens i know i hear people saying this oh, but i'm afraid that if i call upon archangel Raphael, for example to heal my headache i'm just afraid that i'm actually taking him away from helping someone who is in the hospital you know very sick but this doesn't exist and you need to understand this yes he's capable to be here helping you with your simple headache and he's also capable of being in the hospital helping those in need as well at the same time because there is no time and space for the angels to exist there is no such limitation they are limitless the only quote limitation that they have is our free will that's the only thing that actually um, that they actually need to to uh, follow. Um, that actually there there's nothing they can do if we don't use our free will. What I mean about this is that they they cannot help us unless we ask for it. Apart from that, they are limitless. They just do you know they they exist everywhere. They help everyone. There is not one single prayer that is not answered, that is not heard by them, and they don't have this judgmental mindset that we do. For example, because this is uh, as I told you, I, I hear people saying this all the time. Ah, oh, but I'm afraid if I ask uh, the angels to help me find a parking spot, uh, you know, a parking place, I'm afraid that I'm taking them away from helping those who are in need you know who are suffering who need uh food or whatever this doesn't exist the angels will help every single being as long as we ask they're not looking at me and say oh maria doesn't deserve this so i'm not gonna give it to her you know or Ma maria okay this is not very important let me help someone else first and then i come back to maria this is this doesn't exist they are helping us constantly all the time for everything that we want, for everything that we ask them. They are pure energy. They are pure, unconditional love, unconditional. There are no limitations. There are no conditions for them to help us, for them to love us. That's why they help us, because they are pure love. So they're not going to judge you. If you're asking them to find the right dress for your party, uh, you know, they're not going to say, oh my gosh, really? You want a dress for your party? They're not going to, they, they, this doesn't exist. There is no judgment. They just love you. They just want to help you because you're asking them for help. Okay, so don't worry about that. You know, take that heaviness away from you, that judgment away from you and simply be open to ask them for help. Yes, they can exist right here, you know, for me, for you, for all of us, because I was actually asking them, like, how could I uh, explain to you guys about this? And then they told me to use this analogy of the air we breathe. You know, this means that if I breathe, you know, right now, if I breathe faster, you know, <laughs> if I breathe deeper, it doesn't mean that I'm taking away the air you breathe, right? You still have air for you to breathe constantly and, and it's endless, right? And it's the same with them. Just because I am breathing, you know, it doesn't mean that you are not going to breathe. And just because I'm calling upon Archangel Michael doesn't mean that you don't have access to him at the same time. Okay, so this is what they want you to understand. It's about the air we breathe. From their eyes, from their perspective, from the frequency they live, it's as if all of us are together. All of us are, you know, I'm, I'm in Portugal right now. So it's it's me with you who are in the States, with someone who is um, in Thailand, someone who is in, in Australia. We are all together. We are all one next to the other right now. This doesn't exist, these limitations of, you know, um, of continents or, you know, th this doesn't exist. There's no time and space. So remember that when they help us, it's as if they're helping, you know, like everyone is right next to each other. Everyone is together. Everyone is just in the same place. There is no such thing as, you know, traveling and time and space. Okay. Because this is something even I heard before, you know, from someone in Brazil saying, ah, but I, I you know if I call upon Michael here, what if someone else calls upon him in Australia after that, you know, he's going to have to travel. So, you know, it's so far <laughs> and this doesn't exist. Okay. They, they, they simply exist. They are everywhere. They are omnipresent. They are everywhere they just help us all the time whoever asks them for help there they will be they will be helping because the angels 
are expressions of the divine they are the virtues of god i'm sorry about the noise again they are the the virtues about uh, the, the virtues of god they are the divine existence in itself they are the expressions of this divine love so you know yes they are unconditional yes of course they're gonna help us you know there there are no limitations they're not gonna say okay i'm helping maria right now and that's why i was joking in the beginning of uh the video if you're watching on youtube you know that's why i was saying okay wait because i'm gonna call upon michael now you can have him later okay this doesn't exist okay and they want you to understand that they really want you to be open to receive them to be open to call upon them whenever you need without the mindset that if you're calling upon Michael, you're taking him away from someone. This doesn't exist. And no, the angels don't split. They don't turn into different pieces to, for them to be everywhere. As I told you, it's as if they are all around the world at the same time, as if they are this, this energy that simply exists everywhere. Actually, it's not as if this is what they are. They are vibration. They are energy frequency and they live they exist in a dimension that is completely different from us so that's why it's really hard for us to understand this because we live in this 3d mindset where you know there are limitations with time with space there are judgments there is ego but we are changing that and, and that's what i'm here for i want you to also change that in you i want you to really get away from this mindset and understand that you too are limitless you too are pure love this is actually why we are here we are here to remind ourselves to remember that we are love to remember who we truly are and we too are this infinite unconditional love we too are the divine in itself so this is what the angels want to remind us today okay beautiful so so I think the episode was quite short, right? It's short today, but still, um, I really needed to talk to you about this and I hope it resonates with you. Okay. So make sure you, um, make sure you follow me again here and make sure we connect before I forget. Make sure we connect on Instagram, which is Maria Molina Angels. Make sure you follow me there so we can keep connected. And also, if you want to join the Beautiful Souls tribe on Telegram, please go ahead and do so. It's a beautiful family we have there. I send everyday angel messages there. Um, and we have very exclusive stuff in there. And it's free. So, you know, it's free. Come join me there. Um, and also, if you want to receive angel healing and Reiki healing every week, you're more than welcome to also join my Patreon pay page. Um, and then that's the way you will be uh, receiving healing every week. Okay, beautiful. So, so thank you for being here again. If this resonated with you, share this episode with someone. Perhaps someone needs to hear this as well today. Okay, and I wish you a wonderful and a blessed day, a blessed week, wherever you are. You know, remember that you're loved. Be open to receive the angels. Open the doors of your life to have their help because that's what they're here for. They're just waiting for you to call upon them. Thank you for joining me and I'll talk to you soon. I'm sending you love and light. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And Namaste.